Fools Festival. Fools is a radical four day music festival held at four locations in Australia over the new year period. The festival tour is in between the 28th of December and the 8th of January. I'm covering details of Fools Festival so you can have a brief understanding of the festival and at the end I'll give you some important tips. Locations are Lawn Victoria, Marion Bay, Tasmania, Byron Bay, New South Wales and Fremantle, Western Australia. Most of the time it's in rural locations, except for Fremantle, which is a new location on the tour and it's based in the city. The festival has been popping since 1995. It started as a one day event at Lawn, we had Silverchair, Spider Bay and a few other major artists at the time. Getting an overwhelming amount of naughty 90s hippies for the first one, they continued and has been since a major Australian music festival, growing from four locations, gathering on average 20,000 heads. The festival is jam packed full of live music from artists around the world. There's big names in rock, hip hop, indie, alternative, dance and electric. You find that most bands, hip hop artists and DJs are in the Triple J's top 100. Artists like Childish Gambino, London Grammar, Flume, Remy and Group Life, just to name a few. The people that go to Fools are generally in their mid 20s, laid back Aussies that love a camp out. Stay until the last show and head back to your place that's close by or camp overnight. Fools provides an area for camping and have tents you can rent. If you're liking this video so far, please hit that like button. So, what happens at Fools? You rock up at the Fools grounds. You start by floating around, eating during the day, check out some of the art sculptures, get married, or you can even dig a hole. Then, start drinking the Arvo, sing some karaoke, water your way to the stage to your favorite gig, and park your keister. Rinse and repeat. The weather is beautiful as it lands on the peak of Australia's summer, so you don't have to worry about the rain or rogging up too much. But always pack for a cold and unexpected rain. And it's the locations that make the festival so special. Always green fields, forests and close to the beach. What to bring and some tips. Bugger off your phone, you won't need it. Maybe to take some pictures, but at the end of the day, just turn it off, have some fun. You can't book your parking spot, so if you want to camp with your mates, you have to go there together. Pack more than enough water and snacks for the night. No fire or barbecue gear. Australia has a fire van in summer, so don't bother about bringing any back here. There's hot showers and toilets exclusively to rent a tent patrons. The ticket prices range from $350 to $500. For tickets, go to the link below. Also, if you're interested in discount festival tickets, uh, travel gear and packages, go to my website, put in your email address so I can link that to you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you at the next festival. Thanks.